Warning, I swear a lot. Hi guys, and welcome back to Conan Exile. So I've been excited to come back to this because I'm actually really enjoying myself at the moment. So last time I was like, we're gonna, I was, I'll either go get the horse off camera or I'll find out and we'll do it together. We're gonna do all of it now because I've figured out roughly where I can find horses. I've got the thing, the stable, ready to go to get the horse. All we're gonna do now is go get the horse. Now I'm sure the Katana will probably fucking help me. Fortunately, if I'm correct, because I did look it up online to find a rough location for horses, apparently it's pretty close by. I should find a fowl. I presume I pick it up the same way I pick up a baby animal and bring it back. That's a point, actually. I should, before I go, before I go, before I go, drop off everything I can, because I imagine that carrying a baby fowl, they're probably quite heavy. They're probably hefty little fuckers, so I might need to make sure that I can actually carry it. My god, he's an absolute stacked up unit, look at him go. But, carrying a horse, that's, uh, sound a little different. 45%. How heavy could a baby horse possibly be? How heavy? Future me, Google up how heavy on average is a baby horse. And then we'll compare it to how heavy it actually is in the game. Is this the experience you came here for? Baby mammal facts? Well, you're welcome. Please don't tell me that's a fucking boss thing. I already fought one of those. I don't want to fight another one. We'll fight- no, that's not a boss one. Because he's roughly the size that I am, whereas that boss one was fucking huge. It may seem pointless me doing this, but I would rather clear the way so that when I'm coming back with the foul, in case I'm having to fucking walk rather than run, ow, uh, I don't have to deal with these guys. That'd be nice. Ow. Really, I should have, you know, been more defensive, but it's fine. Bitch. Let's see if he can get my character to do the thing here. Hang on. Wait for it. Oh, he does the blade swing. He wipes the... Not wipes, but he, like, shakes the blood off of his sword. It's the katana thing that's so cool. It's one of my favorite things that samurai do. When they fucking shake the blood off the sword. It's like in, um... He goes to Tsushima when, um, Jin would... Like, he would have the blade in the crux of his arm. Like, on, the, uh, on top of his uh, elbow. And he would just, like, wipe the blood off like that. And then put it back in his sheath. It's so cool. So fucking cool. Jin's so cool. He's such a handsome man. He's so fucking cool. I've heard that, like, uh, a sequel for Ghost of Tsushima is all but confirmed, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm not sure if I want it to be... I want, I'm not sure if I want it to continue the story of Jin, to be honest, because I think Jin's story was fairly self-contained, or should be self-contained. I won't, I won't describe too much in case you want to play Ghost of Tsushima for yourself, but his story felt self-contained. I'll say that much. In fact, I'm not gonna uh, edit all of that out, future me, in case it spoils anything for anyone, because I don't want to spoil anything about Ghost of Tsushima. All I'll say is I'm not sure there should be a sequel, a direct sequel. Perhaps choose a different character in a different setting. Probably still based in Japan, of course, because that's what it's about. But maybe not, you know, maybe not the same thing again. So where am I currently? I think this is roughly where the horses are supposed to be. I might have to look it up on my phone, because horses. That's an alligator. I'd love to ride an alligator, but I don't think it would cooperate. Oh, here it comes. Bitch. Now you're bleeding, making me the victor. Bitch. Bitch. All I could say to you is bitch. Yes, okay, I've gone in the wrong direction, but that's fine. I've gone way too far west. I thought it was one of these little small islands. It's actually a uh, much, well, they are actually on a much bigger island. So I've accidentally picked a very good location for my base as well, if there is horses available nearby. I'm excited. The only issue is that I don't know how long it's going to take to, for lack of a better term, break a horse in. You know, like I don't know if uh, it takes like 10 minutes or 20 minutes or an hour or two hours. I want to try and get it all in the same video, but that might not be reasonable, because I've got other stuff to record today, and I don't know if I can vamp for two hours. <laughs> I'm alright at improv commentary. I'm not that good, you know? I have my limits. I'm gonna go beat this guy up, uh, provided that crocodile doesn't get him first. Who's gonna win? Oh, he's a boss. Yeah. 
He's an important guy. What is your name? What do you do? Ulrich the Beast. I like you, Ulrich. I tell you what. I tell you what. Sunny Jim. Why don't you follow me? Yeah? We're gonna... Sorry, there's a little diversion on what we were doing, but a fucking boss character just showed up. Actually, I just realized the issue. Hang on. I don't know how I'd get him across the water. I don't think I could get him across the water. Hang on, let's have a look around. Yeah, no, I'd have to go... I'd have to... He'd be there, and we'd knock him out, and we'd have to take him up through there, around... That would be really hard. Let's do that later, right? We'll go looking for him later, because we're going to have to kill some time until the horse is trained or broken, or however that works. We'll do that later. For now, bridge, which is where I am. Okay, so there should be horses around here. Now, I feel like I would have seen slash noticed one if it was here already, but I don't know how big they are. Horses? Horses. Horses? Maybe the maybe those exiles have them? Horses? Where the horse? Where horse? I feel like I would have seen one by now as well. Like, just in my general adventurings if there was a horse around here. Horses? That's a rabbit. I can't ride a rabbit. They're too small. Way too small. I need a horse. Where the horse? I don't see a horse. There's no horse here. That's a person. Fucking hello, love. Do you mind? I don't see no horse, though. Where the horse at? Uh, I don't suppose it's on top of that. Maybe. That's their camp. And there's no horse there. And I look around here, and there's no horse. I feel like this website may have lied to me. The thing is pointing to a relatively broad area, you know what I mean? Which implies to me that the horses perhaps wander around and aren't, you know, in a fixed location. But there's clearly an area they spawn. That's my point. So surely the, the horse it would be here. It would. If, the, if it was telling the truth, there would be horses here, but I don't see them. I was about to ask if perhaps horses are uh, not available yet on PS4, but why would we have horse items, you know, like saddles and a stable, if there were no horses? Also, why would we be able to build those things if this required DLC to use? Surely, surely I can get some kind of horse. We will find a horse, I swear. That's what a horse looks like. Okay, good to know. <laughs> okay, well, we have a new heading. Horse? Because I ain't seen no horses around here. I really hope I can actually get horses. This does seem like a strange place for a horse as well, but... The guide seems pretty clear that this is where you can find them. I ain't seen nothing though. I'm gonna have to assume there's no horses here. Which is sad, but you know... I am a brave man. I will continue to live my life in search of a horse. I am a samurai, after all, and samurai are supposed to have a horse. That's how that whole thing works. I really thought that was a horse. It's just a fucking shell bag. Now, we should get ourselves a proper torch as well, because it's going to be really hard to see at night. And I don't want to fucking miss a horse, because I couldn't see it. Keep an eye out for horsies. There we go. As we go along. I think these islands, perhaps... You know, it's trying to imply that there are horses on these islands. Now, there are so many alligators, crocodiles... Fuck. There are so many crocodiles that I feel like any horses here would be eaten pretty quick. But, you know, maybe. Maybe there are just horses. Maybe. Maybe I'll find a horse. Maybe. I bet it'll be a fucking swift horse rather than a war horse, which is apparently what my mount is saddled for. Do... I don't know, man. I'll just be happy with a horse. If I can get a horse, that'll be horse. I feel like I'm starting to fixate. Horse? Horsies? Doodly doo. I want a horse. Find me a horse. Country horse. Take me horse. To the place. Give me a horse. Bitch. Oh, wow. This sword is good. You don't stand a chance. 
the sword is really good. <laughs> Holy shit. Country horse. Give me a horse. You're a bitch. You got a horse. Now nah, you're dead. Took your skin. Country horse. There's still no horse here. I'm running out of ideas. Well, actually, I'm not. I know exactly where I'm supposed to go. I just... I really get the impression that once I get there, there won't be a horse. I've searched this area, like this sort of coastline, northern coastline near my base, quite extensively. And perhaps I haven't got over it with a fine tooth comb, but I've looked around quite a lot and I feel like if there had been a horse, I would have seen it. I would have at least caught a glimpse at some point of a horse. That's not a horse, that's a shell back. Where the horse? Find the horse. Getting gone. To find a horse. Where the horse? Where the horse? I mean a horse. Oh, fuck off, will you? I have time for hyenas. I'm looking for horse. No, ow. Oh, they'll just chase you forever, won't they? I remember now. Yeah, how's that feel? You want to go again? Bitch. 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 Two for one. I would harvest their resources, but we still got to carry a horse. You're not a horse. I could ride you, though. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I could steal a doe or a little fawn or whatever the hell they're called, but uh, I'm looking for a horse. There is a distinct difference between a horse and a fawn. Oh, god damn it. Fucking hyenas. What do you think this is, Lion King? You think I'm gonna start singing Be Prepared? Because I'm not. I won't. Oh, fuck. Die. If it takes long enough, I will just do it off camera because, you know, I don't want to waste you guys' time too much. Just a little bit for funsies. Is our ah, fucking iron? I love iron. Always need more iron. Country horse. I'm here for horse. The thing is sad. And there's a horse. Look at a horse. That's a horse. Country horse. Got him. Wait, why did I get putrid meat at the same time? That's a swift foul. I mean, I do like the idea of a fast horse. But we've got it. We finally got it. Let's go home. Oh, but, oh, hello. 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 You didn't tell me there was... This place is amazing. There's horses and iron. If I was playing Civ 6, this would be like the dopest location to set up, set up shop. In fact, it's also the case in this game as well. But I'm close enough that I can get to these resources relatively easily. I just have to fight through a million crocodiles, exiles, shellbacks, and hyenas. But it's fine. For resources like that, it's totally worth it. And now we see the end of the day. I went to place. I got my horse. Country horse in my purse. I feel like I'm mixing a lot of cultures here with <laughs> samurai and country, but you know what? It's a match made in heaven, is it not? Singing's probably not good for my throat. I'm also not a very good singer. I apologize <laughs> so much for all the singing you've been subjected to today, because it's not good. <coughs> it's supposed to be fair, I'm not really trying to be good, but if I was trying, it still wouldn't be good, is my point. Get Fox, you loser! And we leveled up. Is there anything so beautiful as leveling up? I'll answer the question for you. The answer is no. Not even the birth of your firstborn child compares to leveling up in a video game. Got it. Don't fucking mind if I do, fam. Don't mind. I don't mind. Do you mind? Like, comment, and subscribe if you mind. <laughs> please don't leave. I'm so sorry. Baby, no, please don't leave. We can work this out. No. She didn't mean nothing. No, please. No, come on, country horse. No, please. Take me home. <laughs> Fucking losing it. I, I think I devolve into bullshit more when I'm really enjoying my time recording. And I don't mean specific individual recording sessions. I mean overall. I go through periods of time where my commentary devolves into absolute nonsense. Just because I'm having so much fun while I'm doing it and because... I'm enjoying recording so much, and do in general. I really, I really do fucking love it. It's so much fun. It feels good to just sit down, pick something to do, and then 
in a commentary sense, just completely let loose. Just go for it. Just have some fun. A friend of mine recently told me, like, yeah, man, I've been thinking about it for a long time, and I think I'm gonna- Fucking! You ain't getting my horse, you bitch! Cut your horse! Protect my horse! Big scary! Or protect my horse! You know what, we're not doing this, actually. <laughs> I was kind of like, yeah, I think we will. No. No, we won't. That fight will take forever, and I might lose, and I might lose my horse, and I don't want to. So what was I saying? Yes, my friend, a friend of mine, who I shan't name until he actually starts doing it, because, you know, if he changes his mind, I don't want to embarrass him. But he was like, yeah, I've been thinking about it. I've been watching your videos, I and, you know, I've been thinking about doing Let's Play for a long time, and now me and my roommate are actually going to go ahead and do it. And I'm like... That's fucking radical. You're gonna have so much fun. I wholly encourage him I wholly encourage him to do it. I'm like, you're gonna have such a good time. If you need any help, ask me. I'll provide you with all the fucking advice I can. And I'm really excited for it because I think he and his body are gonna have a great time. And you better believe that the moment he gets up and running, I'll be posting links. I'll be advertising. Free free shilling, free advertising for my friend, because, you know, I wanna help my friends. It's like how I always fucking shill out for um, Nova Status and Damaged because I want them to do well as well. Go check out Nova Status and Damaged if you like good music. Good alternative music. It's fucking dope. But I have bullshitted for long enough. We've made it back. Let's go put the horse in the horse place. Little horse. Swift fowl. Can I get info? This young horse skitters and hops nervously around, dashing from place to place. It can probably be trained to do anything, but it is clear that it wants to run. Okay. Well, I learned, sort of accidentally, I didn't mean to look up more about the horse, but the information was just there, that if you feed them seeds, they end up with more speeds. So I'm going to give him some seeds. And we're going to have a fast horse. Fast horse. There we go. He's on his way. Now, I bet that's going to take fucking ages. So, we can just diddle around, kind of hang out in the meantime. I might not actually keep the episode going until he becomes a big man horse, because that might take a really long time. But I've only been recording for about half an hour, give or take, so we can just hang out, you know. We can also make the Pit of York. Finally, the bricks are in place, and we can upgrade the Pit of York into the Rift of York. So that's exciting. We'll also do that. And get the bricks and that. And I believe that's everything. Yes. Upgrade to the Rift of York. We're going to need a nice spear to wield on top of our horsey. And I think a nice York bone spear will do just great. Most of this will be cut out. I'm just going to be cutting in and out. We'll be doing stuff, hanging out. It's a good time. I'm kind of... I kind of want to go after that, um... That boss character we found. Because he seemed interesting. I'm just gonna put a bolt there. There we go. That's called decoration, folks. Feng Shui. So I gotta go get my club and my rawhide binds. It's gonna be quite tough because that dude was a boss character, therefore knocking him out is going to be difficult. However, I do have. My brain is stopped. My brain is stopped. Help. I need more plant. Okay, so I should get some plant fiber in preparation so I can keep repairing that. I have got the strength perk, I was trying to say, which increases the amount of concussive damage you do with subduing weapons, so I should be able to handle him. I'm quite tough. The issue is going to be getting him to the fucking base. There is a way, but it's dangerous. It's quite dangerous. But if I could get a fucking extra dangerous boss character to guard my base when that purge finally comes we'll be ready also for those of you who don't know if you continue building up your base is that a big one no that's a normal one either way i don't want to fight i can't be asked if you keep building up your base eventually the game will send enemy like groups of enemies to attack your base so you need to build up defenses and get ready i have no defenses except for myself so i should work on that at some point, I'm going to want to think about, like, building walls and palisades and stuff and properly setting the area up to be, like, a defensive location. But for now, I'm so far away from a purge that I'm just diddling around and we're just having fun. Now, where is Mr. Boss character? He was around here. 
But, you know, he could have despawned, frankly. I've encountered multiple boss characters in my time, but... Every time I find a boss character, I'm not in a position where I can really recruit them. Which is really annoying, actually. I don't care about the alligator. I don't. People think I do. They're always telling me, Foreman, you like alligators, and I'm like, THEY'RE CROCODILES! Hey, sh I could do of a sm- Hey, I could do of a smelter. I could do of a smeller. I could do of a smeller. I could do... How did that last hit miss? I could do of a smeller. Also, there are no women in the camp, and that just feels kind of weird. So, let's get this lady. There we go. Got her. Pulling her along on a string. Now, getting her to my camp might be tricky. I'm going to have to do... It's him! It's him! Is it him? Go see! I will drop this lady in a second if that's who I think it is. Is that the animal? It looks like him. He's wearing armor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck that. You're free. It's you and me, buddy boy. This is gonna be a fight. They are. This isn't actually the same guy as some guy called the Slayer, but he's still a boss character. So, ow. This is going to be a long fight. Oh god. Why do these episodes always end up with me fighting a boss character? Okay, the game just fucking lags so hard that... Uh... Hang on, his health is going down alongside his, um... Alongside his thing. Does this mean I can't actually capture him? In fact, his health is going down a lot faster than his thing is. I don't think I can capture him. I don't think the game will let me. I think this will kill him before it knocks him out. In that case, I'm not going to fuck around anymore. That's a shame. I really wanted to, you know, get a cool guy, but I guess it's not happening. Let's just take his armor. We've still got this lady. She's still alive. Let's take her with us. So we're going to have to fucking go all the way around to that Dafari camp, which is dangerous, and loop around in order to get back to home. But I think it'll be worth it. And we've got materials to repair these bindings. And if she gets back up, we'll just knock her back down. <laughs> so. It'll be fine. We can do it. And once we've done this, we can go check in on uh, on our horse. A horse. And see if, you know, that's going to happen today. And if it's not going to happen today, well then, perhaps we can move towards ending the video. And I'll, I'll bring you guys back once the horse is done. And then we'll play with the horse. And I'll have to name the horse. I'll have to name the horse. I might need your help naming the horse, because that's a big deal. So you got a good name for a horse? Leave it in the comment. Fucking hell, lady. She's not having a good time. This is probably not the most eloquent way to transport prisoners, but you know, it's effective. She's a smelter. I can't remember what smelters do. I think it makes it faster or more efficient or something. I don't know. But it'll, it's just good to have more people, I suppose, isn't it? She's going to be my first rank 2 character as well. So that's fun. That's not quite what I wanted to see. Maybe I can climb. I really don't want to attack that Defari camp right now, I've got to be honest. What if we just stay? Yes. Yes. As long as I don't end up swimming. I think it's when my character enters the swimming animation that he lets go of the rope because he needs both of his arms for it so as long as I'm careful as long as we keep an eye out and make sure that rope is still pulling should be fine also this rope has lasted ages I thought it would have fucking snapped by now maybe as we go just collect some plant fiber in case just in case just in case now there are some exiles around here I don't really want to tangle with but it's not really possible to avoid them so I'm just gonna have to it's a fucking alligator. Go away, you stupid loser. Don't eat my smelter. She's important. I was expecting to look back and find that I'm dragging a torso instead of an actual person. Mm. 
bring her home, country home. She gonna work on the smelter. Excuse me, fellas. Just coming past. Kidnapped someone. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Apparently they're not. That suits me just fine. Nearly home. However, that fucking dire shellback continues to be a pain in the ass and refuses to not be a pain in the ass. Will always be a pain in the ass. We're nearly back. They're still following. Oh wow, that. Oh wow, they're fighting now. Okay, they can clear out the way down there for me. That's convenient. Those stupid shellbacks are kind of guarding my water source and my fish and lobster nets, so. Be nice if I could get them to fuck off, frankly. If they could just fuck off, that'd be nice. They'd just fuck off. Welcome welcome to your new home, Betsy. Your name is Betsy. I hope you like being called Betsy. If not, I've never been very good with names anyway. Let's go check in on unnamed horse. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha. Mm, it's been about ten... Ten minutes or so since I put the horse in there, that's virtually no progress. Okay, alright. It's kind of running out of things to do, really. I know exactly where we can go to find <laughs> meat and also maybe bones. Conveniently enough, given the placement of my home... Uh, fucking... I'm having a little... Uh, having a little trouble. There we go. There happens to be a Defari camp literally overlooking my base. Now, it probably means that when I do eventually get attacked, it will, funnily enough, be Defari tribesmen. And after the amount of times I've attacked them, I wouldn't blame them, you know what I mean? Summer is outside being very angry. Or being a good security dog, hard to tell. You might be able to hear that, I don't know, I can hear it. So we need to get at least five kills up here to get enough unblemished meat anyway, but we're also looking for bones. Maybe we can get bones from the people. Hey, buddy. Oh, you don't stand a chance. Don't think that you do. Stop thinking that you stand a chance, because you don't. There we go. That's one down. That, now, I think if I use an axe, I can get bone. No bone, I got a severed leg, but no bone. No bones in that severed leg, funnily enough. Nothing harvestable. Oh, hello. Wait, are you fighting me with your fists? I wouldn't recommend that. Oh no, he has a mace. Oh wow. Oh wow, oh yeah. Oh, it's a fight now, isn't it? Alright, it's time for the big, 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 big shit. Tough shit. That's, that fucking, like, big sweep ability is so useful. Got you. Any last words? Didn't think so. Unfortunately, and I think it's quite a common bug in this game, that if you look away from a corpse, sometimes they just disappear. So, Mr. Bearer of Goods, who had that big backpack full of items, just fucked off. Randomly, because the game is not very well coded. <laughs> Unfortunate, but life in it. Life is poorly coded. Now, how much unblemished meat do we have? Three. I think we needed five. I can't remember. Oh, shadow. I'm just gonna take it from you anyway. I won that exchange, apparently. I go to the great feast. You are the great feast, my friend, because I'm gonna eat you. Well, actually, my hyena's gonna eat you. Just need one more. Good to go. Oh, look, one more. How handy. Sup, buddy. He's got a shield, which isn't ideal. This can cause me too much grief. That fucking performer might, though. Gotcha. Gotcha. And you're gonna fucking die. There we go. Good stuff. I think we've got everything we need. Can I pick up those bones? No, it'd be really cool if I could just pick those up and get bones, but I guess not. 
That's not logical. That doesn't make sense. That you could pick up bones and then have bones. That's stupid. Who the fuck would think that? Who, what kind of stupid moron would think that was a thing? What kind of moron am I? How many bones did I need? It was quite a few, wasn't it? 60. I found 40. I've got enough. I've got enough. I can make myself a lovely little bone spear. No, I can't. I don't have branches. I've got branches. I can make a bone spear. I would also like to make the Watcher mask, purely because it's a unique piece of armor. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. How are you doing? Only just started. Not surprised. No surprise here. No, sir. How are you doing? Only just started. No surprise here. No, sir. How are you doing? Nearly done. No surprise here. No, sir. Got the bone spear, which I believe I can throw. Yeah, it's a throwing spear, but I also use them for melee because they're quite good. That's pretty dope. How good is that spear? So that does, like, what, 16 health damage? Whereas my bone spear does... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Fuck, stop. Bone spear does 23, 16% armor pit, pair, 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 pair. It does good. It's a good weapon. It's good. It's good. That's all I have to say on the matter. Well, I'm going to end that here, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. So we got a horse. It took longer than I expected, but we got a horse. We also got a smelter. We also got a bunch of bones made a spear. Things are going well. I'll continue playing this off in my off time, just making little uh, improvements and such around the base and whatever. And we'll start the next episode when that horse, has, when that little fowl has grown up to be a horse, in fact. There also might be some new cuddly animal friends around the base, because these will two will have grown up, and that'll be fun. But that's all for next time. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think I should name the horse, because I got no horse names ideas. I already know what to name my hyena. I don't know what to name a horse, so I'm depending on you for that, okay? Doodles, goodbye. <laughs>